My name is Dr. Mark Wolf. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Arlington Orthopedic Associates and I perform hip and knee replacement surgery there as my main emphasis of care. And our theme today is to talk about when it's time to do a hip or knee replacement. The three major categories of hip pain can be from your lower back or from the hip joint itself, which is the ball and socket or the outside part of your hip, which we call the bursa. The three main sources of knee pain are the knee joint itself, referred pain from your lower back, or referred pain from the hip joint itself. Typically, when we do a thorough history and physical and x-rays, the answer is clear where the pain's coming from, but in certain cases, we'll still need an MRI, but it's usually not necessary. Let's say that we've decided that the hip or the knee is the obvious source of pain, and it's time to decide about hip or knee replacement. What goes into that decision? The main theme is quality of life. How does this affect my day-to-day -day existence? What are the things that I want to do or enjoy doing that I can't do anymore? And then what are my expectations for how a new hip or a new knee is going to help my quality of life? Then we need to talk about what alternative treatments could be used short of surgery, which may be very beneficial. Those would include anti-inflammatory medicines, exercise program, the use of a cane or a walker temporarily, and injections for therapeutic reasons into the hip or knee to help the pain. The reason that weight is an important issue if your hip or knee is hurting is that many times significant weight loss will diminish your pain enough where surgery is not necessary. Every time you step on your hip or knee, five times your body weight is transferred through that joint. So even losing as little as 10 pounds will take 50 pounds of pressure off your hip or knee every time you step on it. And that's significant. So let's talk about the things that will give you a much better chance of having a good outcome for hip or knee replacement. Those include weight control, nutritional status, smoking cessation, and diabetes control. All of these have a common theme and that if they are well controlled and modified, your immune system works well. Your immune system is the main reason you don't get an infection from hip or knee replacement. For over 20 years, the orthopedic surgeons at Arlington Orthopedic Associates have been performing hip and knee replacements. We realize that this is a very important step and decision for you to take. And we don't take it casually. Even though it's common for us to do the surgery, it's your hip and your knee, it's your body, it's your family we're taking care of. So we welcome any questions that you have. Information will help you to get through this and help you to make an informed choice. And we invite those questions at our visits.